Here is an explanation for final exam, question number 83 in Trigonometry Demystified, second edition. Please refer to page 385, and at the bottom of that page, figure exam-11, which is reproduced here with a few variations. What we have is an incident ray of light striking a boundary between two clear substances with different indexes of refraction and the refracted ray continues on down into the second substance. The first substance has a refractive index of 1.00 and in fact is just plain air. The lower substance, or the clear substance into which the light beam passes, according to this question, is ruby with a refractive index 1.76. Let's call this refractive index S and this refractive index R. Then Snell's law tells us that the, the sine of the angle of refraction, that's this angle, divided by the sine of the angle of incidence, that's this angle right here, equals R over S. In other words, the sine, the sine of this angle divided by the sine of this angle equals this refractive index divided by that refractive index. Okay, according to Snell's law then, the sine of the lower angle phi divided by the sine of the upper angle, which is 60 degrees or theta, equals the ratio of the upper index of refraction to the lower index, that is 1 over 1.76. That, in this question, is choice B.